What's up everyone, it's Tony here, and welcome back to Yacht Addiction. I am incredibly pleased to tell you that currently, I'm standing on board the foredeck of a Balietto T52 hybrid. Thank you of course to Balietto for granting me access on board. Guys, this T52 is officially 52.32 meters long, or around 171 feet. It has a beam of 8.94 meters, or 31 feet, and a draft of 2.57 meters at its half load. Now guys, you heard me correct, this is a hybrid super yacht. You can run on the traditional diesel engines. You also have a diesel electric mode, which greatly extends the performance and capabilities on board. And you also have a fully electric mode available. There's so many fantastic things to see on this one. So I think we'll go ahead and get started. As mentioned, we're up here on the fore deck, and this yacht has a steel hull and an aluminum superstructure. So as you can see right here, we have the bell and then your extremely large anchor gear As we go through this Balietto Super Yacht Tour, make sure you comment down below if particular things stand out to you. You have a cute little seating area right up here all the way forward. And then there are two different garages for tenders on board this yacht. And the first one is right here. So let's pan this camera down. You can see it's a huge storage space. And then you do have space for a large tender as well as some extra water toys. Now, one really cool feature on this yacht is all of the outdoor spaces can be connected. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. Here, you'll see the sun pads on either side. And these are covered by some bimini's or sunshades on top. And then you'll see the seating areas continue flanking around this table. And with this staircase, you can get from the sun deck all the way down to the fore deck, and this can retract up. So that's a really cool feature connecting all these areas. But we'll head up to the sun deck later on in the tour. I did want to point out, you do have the docking stations on either side. And guys, please keep in mind as we're going through this tour, there are a lot of people on board so, the tour might be a little bit crazy with our pathing. I, of course, will do my best to make it work for you all. But just bear with me as we go through this one. It's not every day you get access on board a super yacht like this. You can see a side access door here, which grants you access to this extremely wide side deck. And then there is a power glass side access door here. But I did want to show you the aft deck before we head inside. And the swim platform on this yacht is incredible. You actually have a three-tiered swim platform. So back here, you'll see the pool and the floor of this pool actually rises up. So it's flush with the rest of the deck. And then when you're ready to have the pool in place, the floor will lower, you fill it up with water and you have your pool. And then where you get the three tiers, you, three, you see the steps down here to this lounging area with two huge sun pads on either side. And then you have the swim platform that folds over and lowers into the water. And that's how you get the three different tiers of the swim platform. And when all of the tiers are down, the pool basically gives you that infinity edge pool effect to where you're, if you're in the pool, it looks like you're just looking right off into the water. Obviously, you have more seating in this area on the aft deck. And then everything on this yacht, of course, it's going to be powered. So let's step inside the main salon. You have some mechanical storage areas here. Guys, there's some music currently being played. You have the day head right here. And if we're unable to get the music turned off, it's possible I might have to record over this. Obviously, if you're hearing me now, that means we didn't get copyright striked, so we can keep it in. But we'll see. I might have to voice over this section. 
So you have gorgeous furniture in here, as well as floor to ceiling windows. And many of these furniture pieces were custom made for this yacht. Up here you'll find the main foyer. So here's where your stairs go up to the bridge deck and down to the guest cabins. There's currently someone in the owner's suite, so let's head down to the guest cabins. Actually, we have some people in the guest cabins as well. Let's just keep moving, let's go upstairs. Before we get to the Sky Lounge, it's very extraordinary. You're gonna love it, I promise. You do have a bonus guest cabin up on this level. So this has the single bed as well as the Pullman berth. Guys, I love in every single room, the colors and accents, they're so warm and inviting. And you know me, if you've seen this channel before, I love the accent lighting. By the way, if you're new to the channel, then welcome, of course, my name is Tony. I post a new yacht or super yacht tour every single week. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of that. Here is the ensuite for this room. And even though it's just the smaller bonus guest cabin, you're still going to have gorgeous finishes in every room. Making our way across here. We do have a day head. Guys, look how thick and heavy duty these doors are. Over here, we have another staircase going up and down, and this is for the crew to get to all the different levels without disturbing the guests. But you have this prep space, and then a dumbwaiter. And before I show you that Sky Lounge, which is extremely impressive, let's step into the bridge. You have a side access door, and let me tell you guys, you are not gonna believe what this bridge looks like, how it's set up. It is extraordinary. You have a wall of your electrical panels and switches right here. Obviously on a yacht like this, you're gonna have a full rack and plenty of IT equipment on board. Now guys, check out the bridge on this yacht. Like, come on, you gotta be kidding me. I might be able to confirm with the marketing manager, but these look like, like 50 inch screens. That's ridiculous course got to have the compass there are huge side access doors as well and then we can't go in there unfortunately but the captain's cabin is located right behind the helm you have the little bench as well and then you have these gorgeous captain's chairs with monitoring systems and controls connected to them And then here you can see the foredeck. It's clear now, but this is where we started. Excuse me. I'm sure you're all pretty stunned by that bridge. It's truly out of this world, honestly. But we have even more out of this world areas. Here you can see you have some appliances. This is a bar area for the crew to serve this dining area. And if you notice downstairs, there actually wasn't a formal dining area down on that level, and that was purposeful by design. Your main dining area is up on this deck. So everyone, you have a huge table here, so everyone can comfortably dine. I love the matching wood accents with the table. And then on three different sides of this room, you can see here, here's obviously the bridge deck aft. You have this whole wall of glass that can open up. Then here's an example. The sides can also open up all the way. And these are powered, of course. So you can have this room open from three different sides. So it truly is inside or outside dining. Balietto certainly went all out when designing this yacht. I'm pretty sure it's going to remain extremely popular too with the hybrid options. I know they've already been taking orders. I think they have eight holes being built. This is one of the early examples. So you're probably looking at at least two years if you're ordering brand new. 
You can see this lovely furniture out here on the bridge deck aft. And of course, you can customize this. They'll put whatever type of furniture you want. But they do partner with a lot of high-end furniture makers. But obviously, on a yacht like this, your options truly are limitless when it comes to the furnishings. And since we're up here, I guess we will head up to the sun deck. Now this is another massive area. You have some deck furniture back here. Here's a good shot of the Can Yawning Festival. The show is about to close on day one. And actually bear with me guys. We have some people up here on the sun deck, but it's worth looking at thoroughly. So I don't want to rush through it. So let's head back inside. Honestly, none of these areas I want to rush through, but you get what I mean. I think we can head back downstairs and check out some of these cabins. Oh, and one thing I'll say, I've noticed this all throughout the yacht. I love the detailing they did in the wood panels here, and you find that all throughout the guest cabins. But that's something that stood out to me that I really like. You have another custom art piece. Seems like it's clear, so let's move forward to the owner suite. Once again, that wood paneling. Actually, the galley is clear, and it wasn't earlier, so let's just take a peek in here. You can see there's actually a really good sized crew mess on this main level. That's really nice. I love when the crew have really adequate spaces. And then you have another prep space, little coffee bar, and then here's that dumbwaiter so you can send the food up to that formal dining area. And then if we continue through this door, here we'll find the galley. This galley is really well lit. Let me give you a view from the other side. All right, I'm glad we were able to capture that. Here's that other staircase we talked about before. So this is how the crew can get up and down as needed, as well as out to the side decks. And then the staircase right here, this is how you actually get down to their cabins. All right, there's another detour. Thanks for bearing with me. Here is the main deck owner suite. As you'd expect, it's the full beam of the yacht. And this is an extremely wide yacht, so tons of real estate in here. Once again, I love the warm and inviting color palettes. You have that beautiful mix of modern design that's not too over the top. You have the large TV on the wall. Guys, I'm also going to put the designers for the exterior and the interior designer. I'll put their information in the description below because they certainly deserve to be recognized. I don't have their name right now at the moment. And then you can see this beautifully laid out closet. Obviously, this is set up for the show. Everything lights up automatically when you come in, or you can set them on, of course. And then go through the door with those details that I like, and we'll find the rest of the ensuite. So, we have the double vanity. You have the huge freestanding shower. Soaking tub. And then here, the toilet and bidet to is tucked away right here. But you do have a good window. And then there were, I don't know if you saw them, there were a bunch of closets that lined the walls as well. So plenty of storage in there. And now we're going to head down to the guest cabins. And if you're enjoying this Balietto T52 so far, make sure you hit the like button. I always appreciate that. Any type of engagement you leave on the video helps pump it out to a greater audience. So that's always appreciated. It's a way to support me directly for absolutely no cost. So here you have dual VIP cabins. So these are mirrored on either side. So no one's gonna get jealous. That's always nice.
You have closets built in along here. Let's just open up one of them. But they light up automatically, of course. I must say, I am a big fan of the interior designer of this one. So, not that it means much, but major props to them. And then here, we have the ensuite. Really large rainfall shower. You have the bench over here. And then with this design in the door, comes out to be a pretty thick door. It's already a decent size as is, but you have the extra accents on there. So as mentioned, these are mirrored. And then we have two more cabins. So you have two singles as well as a Pullman. You have the closet right here and then the ensuite. This one is actually locked. So let's head over to the other side. Here you can see, once again, two singles with the Pullman. You have the TV up on the wall and spacklet, as well as same style and design as all the other rooms. You wouldn't expect anything less. And if you saw it before, actually perfect, they just opened it up. There is direct access to the crew area through this door here. So the crew can service these areas as needed. Here we can see the laundry room. And here is an example of one of the crew rooms. It's really good size twin beds. They have the closet here, their ensuite. Guys, this is a really good size. I'm sure you've seen several en suites on these yachts before for crew members. This is a really good size. So that's always nice to see when the crew area matches the elegance and size of the rest of the yacht. And you have additional crew cabins down here. All right, so I'm glad we were able to capture a quick shot of the crew area, but we'll come back through these doors and you can see how they can easily get to the guest cabin area to service them. And then back up the main staircase. Now, I think we are going to head out this door. So, side access door comes in clutch. And also that staircase on the foredeck is actually also coming in clutch because now we can path right up to the sun deck. Getting a little distracted here at Cannes. They have helicopter rides from the airport at Nice directly to the show. Obviously at a show like this, you're gonna have a lot of VIPs coming in. Also, now that it is clear, let's give you a better shot of this four deck area. Just because we did have some traffic before. And here, of course, is where we started the tour. Guys, this four deck, first of all, the connection down to the other areas, that's a fantastic feature. And you can see how it comes out well, I think you can see how it comes out of the area right here. So this ladder can be completely stowed away and then you close these glass doors. But here all the way forward, just see the twin sun pads. And right behind that, everyone's favorite, of course you're gonna have a jacuzzi on this one and it is a really large size. Additionally, you have the shower built right in. Now, what else do we have up here? You can see the hardtop overhead. It's about half of the sun deck. And guys, this sun deck is huge. Like it literally goes, you can see we have a good amount of space in front of the hardtop. And then moving back past this table, there's actually even more space up there. 
before we get over there, we have another beautiful seating area. Obviously, once again, everything can be customizable. You have a bar area built in. It looks like a TV that pops up right here. And then that same staircase for the crew members, it's currently closed, but this can be opened up so the crew can get up and down and service these areas. You have some glass panels in the hard top. And then you do have another table out here. Once again, it's really large. Everyone could easily dine at this table. And now here's where the hard top ends. But don't you worry, you have even more space out here. You have a beautiful sofa. And this is where we stopped beforehand. Once again, I'll give you a shot of the Can Yachting Festival. Day one is about to wrap up. This is my first international trip. Yacht Addiction has officially gone international. Now, I know you all love seeing the engine room, and guys, I love showing it to you, believe me. Whenever we're doing one of these tours, I always try to get access to every single area that we can. Unfortunately, on this one, we are unable to see the engine room, but don't click off. Let me tell you about these specs and the performance. Believe me, you're gonna be impressed. So, let's actually find a nice place to sit. Here, actually, we're rocking a little bit. It's a little windy. And you can see why you have this double edge here. That's, of course, if the water tips over the edge, it'll just spill into this area. You're not gonna actually make a mess on your sun deck. So, as mentioned in the intro, this is a hybrid super yacht. Such a fantastic feature. I'm not shocked that more and more individuals are gonna be placing orders for these. So, the traditional setup, actually, first of all, let me tell you about the engines. You have two engines. They're both MTU 16V 2000 M86 engines. Your top speed is around 17 knots. Pretty decent for a yacht of this size. Obviously, it's not a super fast boat. It's not what it's designed for. You have a comfortable cruising speed of 11 knots. And at that cruising speed, you'll get 4,800 nautical miles of range. So clearly, you can travel the world on this vessel. If you want to go even further than that, if you really want to stretch it, in the diesel electric mode, you can travel up to 7,800 nautical miles. So, and that's at that 11 knot figure. Obviously, that depends on the load and the conditions, but it's a relative figure that's normally pretty accurate. And then I mentioned earlier, there is an electric mode. So two really great things about the electric mode. First of all, if you're going flat out on fully electric mode, it won't last long, but you can travel at up to seven knots. So if you're bringing this huge, beautiful super yacht into the marina, you can do that in electric mode and it's eerily quiet, or at least relatively quiet compared to the diesel engines. And you can also travel for about three and a half hours on electric mode if you're going five knots. So that's another really great feature. And because of that, there are actually certain waters around the world that are protected. There are certain emission and sustainability requirements. Basically, the yacht can't be emitting anything into the water. But if you're in fully electric mode, this yacht actually unlocks some of those areas that you traditionally couldn't get to. So that's just a fantastic feature as well. Also, the last thing I'll mention, in the electric mode, you can operate all of the ship systems for up to 10 or 11 hours. So what that basically means is you don't have to run any of your generators overnight if your electric battery system is fully charged up. Oh, I think we have some company. Let's move all the way forward. I think we'll finish where we started. But if your batteries are fully charged up, you can set anchor for the night, turn off all those systems, excuse me, turn off all the generators that type of system, and then all of your actual systems, your AC, refrigerators, everything you need to actually be anchored up for the night, those can all run off that battery bank for, like I said, 10 up to 11 hours. So that's, once again, another really great feature as part of the hybrid propulsion system. Thank you so much to Balietto for granting me access on board, and thank you so much for watching. It's kind of incredible that this channel has taken me so many places. I never would have thought that I would be filming super yachts in Cannes. But, you know, don't let your dreams be dreams. Here we are, we're doing it. 
This is probably one of the top super yachts I've ever been on. It's definitely high on my favorites list. Thank you so much again for watching. We will catch you next time.